Hey Nathan, it's Wednesday, March 26th. I found your video about the brain's learning ability super interesting, so I decided to go with another video about the brain. Nathan, you know that Alzheimer's disease affects my family. In fact, less than 10 years ago, it was found that 26.6 million people across the globe suffer from this disease. And it's projected that only 36 years from now, 1.2% of the population worldwide will suffer from Alzheimer's disease. So I wanted to talk about its effects on the brain and new insights into treating it. There is still a lot of mystery surrounding Alzheimer's disease. The brain continues to be one of the most cryptic parts of the human body. But that's what makes it so fascinating, right? So far, scientists have understood that people affected by this disease have developed in their brains a substantial amount of tau protein tangles and amyloid beta proteins. The increase of these proteins in the brain can lead to neuron death. Not good. So basically, as these proteins build up and kill more and more brain cells, the brain is able to do less. This is apparent in the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease. Short and long-term memory loss, decrease in language and bodily function abilities, change in mood, and confusion. I mean, Nathan, imagine if your brain was slowly losing function, slowly dying. The world gradually makes less sense. It's really scary and hard to manage. It's one of the most expensive diseases to treat in developed societies. Until now, the only option for somehow dealing with the disease is treatment of the symptoms, but nothing has been found that will stop its progress. Once it's been diagnosed, the disease is expected to deteriorate the brain over time until the person can no longer care for him or herself and the body eventually just stops working. But rest assured, researchers are hard at work to find a way to stop, slow down, reverse, or prevent the disease. Recently, a team of scientists at the University of Michigan published a paper in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America. The study examined the accumulation of amyloid beta proteins. They found that amyloid beta proteins would build up when amyloid precursor proteins were broken up during transport through the brain. These precursor proteins are sent by the Golgi, which will send more APP when it is fragmented. Guess what causes the fragmentation of the Golgi? a certain protein that becomes more active when there is an accumulation of amyloid beta proteins. What? So basically, the accumulation of one protein causes another protein to mess up the Golgi, which then begins to send out more proteins, which lead to the further accumulation of the original protein. It's like a vicious circle. Professor Wang and his colleagues at the University of Michigan suggest a possible treatment for Alzheimer's. By inhibiting the activation of CDK5 and keeping the Golgi whole, that could greatly slow down the accumulation of amyloid beta proteins and possibly lead to less brain cell death. There's a lot more research to be done following this notion, but it's possible that these and future findings could aid in the prevention of Alzheimer's. Nathan, I know I've said this before, but I feel that we are so incredibly lucky to be living in an age of scientific, and specifically medical, advancement and discovery. We'll see you on Friday.